What's up everybody and welcome back to CountryCast. Today we're going to be taking a look at what Reba McIntyre had to say about her divorce from her second husband, Narvel Blackstock. As you all know, Reba McIntyre and Narvel were married for 26 long years. It was Reba McIntyre's second husband, but man did she have the utmost respect and truly loved Narvel Blackstock. Reba McIntyre, however, recently opened up talking about how that divorce left a major hole in her heart and left her also wondering if she would even be able to move on. As for anyone, this was probably not a conversation that was very easy for Reba McIntyre to have recently, but y'all know what to do. Stick around, we'll get to it in just a moment. <laughs> And as always, just real quick, before we get started with today's video, make sure you head on over to our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to give us a like and a follow. Our Facebook is CountryCast, our Instagram is CountryCast News, and our Twitter is at CountryCast News. Of course, if you are new here or if you've slid by the YouTube show before and just haven't had that opportunity yet to hit the subscribe button down below, please go ahead and do so. And remember to turn on those notifications and hit that like button as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. All right, so going ahead and getting right in to what we have for you today. And it's about Reba McIntyre and her divorce from her longtime husband of 26 years, Narvel Blackstock. Even though these two divorced in the year of 2015, I can imagine that it is still hard for Reba McIntyre to really reflect back on that time in her life because it was truly an emotional roller coaster and she had a lot to deal with and even getting back into the music business. There was a lot going on there. And recently, Reba McIntyre was strong enough to reopen up those details and have a chat about it on her podcast titled Living and Learning with Reba McIntyre. And when you guys hear what Reba McIntyre had to say, you will see just how strong of a person she truly is. But there is no doubt that the reflection of this time in her life is truly difficult. Here is what Reba McIntyre had to say when it all went down. She said, I think forging your own path, that's your choice. The divorce was not my choice. I did not want it at all. So it was left up to me. Okay, kid, how are you going to handle this? So when the three people who were literally taking care of me, my company and my career left me, it was kind of a buckle up buttercup moment for me. I thought, what the hell am I going to do? Eventually, Reba McIntyre met with her team and talked about how she would get through this and be able to move on and continue her career in the music business. She said it was kind of a, as I call it, a come to Jesus meeting. And I had to gather my wherewithal to put my feelings aside and go forward. It was forging a path that I didn't want any part of, but I had to do it. And so it was catch up 101. I had to learn so much that was dumped on my lap, but I think it's made me appreciate the business more. I've learned a lot. There I was again, forging another part of the territory I never even thought I would have to be involved in. Not only being able to hear this from Reba McIntyre, but to see what she has done since her divorce is truly inspirational. She released multiple albums after this. She was also on tour uh, with Brooks and Dunn in Las Vegas where she has the residency. She's been highly involved in the music business even after all of this transpired. She was able to work through it and still make her big achievements happen to this day. And she's been in the music game for a very long time and uh, has been a big part of country music. And for her to be able to put those emotions aside and really look forward into the future and continue building on a career that was already not just successful but legendary to begin with is something truly inspiring to look at. And if for some reason any of you out there have not heard Reba's most recent album, Stronger Than The Truth, please do yourself a favor and visit any digital platform where you can take a listen uh, to that wonderful, wonderful record. Guys, that will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.